this session we'll discuss about circles and areas related to circles so let's start this in an interesting way now what is the area of a circle all of you know it's it's pi r square but have you ever wondered why it's pi r square let me help you visualize this in a very colorful way so for that let's take a circle keep on filling the circle with concentric circles like this one inside the other so now it's completely filled up now let's consider the other extreme if i take a single circle here and if i cut the circle if i straighten this out i'll get a straight line so what is a line line can be taken as a circle with infinite radius if i use the same method here this these set of concentric circles so you can see the colorful circles if i just cut here and if i just open it up and if i keep it here what's going to happen the outermost circle here will become the bottom line as you can see and all the other inner circles will come one above the other as lines here with decreasing length the outermost circle perimeter if it is 2 pi r the bottom line length will be 2 pi r and the height here will be nothing but the radius of the outermost circle so area of the circle it's it's very easy for all of you to understand is nothing but area of this particular triangle so i am going to show you or i am helping you visualize area of a circle using area of a triangle uh, and an interesting connect right what is area of the triangle here length here the base here is 2 pi r height here is r so we can directly write down half into 2 pi r into r which is nothing but pi r square very easy and interesting right so this way we can visualize area of a circle using a triangle and, and i'm sure you have not seen uh, area of a circle explained this way before now one more thing which we can do is area of a circle can be visualized in a rectangle also like some of you must have seen in some of the books so how we can do that just to recap you take a circle cut the circle into multiple uh, sectors using diameters let's take 16 sectors like this and if i number them as 1 2 3 4 up to 16 now take each sector one by one like take the first sector keep it upright upright take the second sector and make it upside down and keep it next to each other third one keep it upright fourth one keep it upside down and if I, if you bring all of them one by one like this and keep it here what we will get here is nothing but a rectangle where you can see on top you can see numbers 1 3 5 7 up to 15 which is basically half of the sectors bottom also you'll see half which is 2 4 up to 16 so what you can easily understand is this complete which is length of this is nothing but the perimeter which is 2 pi r here one side will be half of it because only half of the sectors are coming on top so length here will become half of 2 pi r breadth of this rectangle as you can easily visualize is nothing but r so area of this rectangle will be product of length and breadth which is half of 2 pi r into r so we'll get pi r square so what we did here is nothing but area of a circle visualized using a rectangle if you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these hit like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy learning this way download byju's the all new and personalized learning app